Anyway, I'm going to this um, um, medical practitioner down the road, close to where we live, uh, medical centre to do this, um, to hopefully get this um, form completed and done and then submit it to the employment agency aim at these um, um, warnings on the internet of major flooding because of the um, ongoing rain um, at the um, various all around Queensland and uh, here um, just the uh, day before the um, first day of autumn uh, with the end of the summer season ends today and um, the first day of March um, tomorrow so um, yeah so apparently I've just got a SMS that help employment agency is closed so there's no need for me to go in so isn't that awesome because of the flooding we all been advised to stay home okay then cheers cheers everyone so cool Monday the 28th of February 2022 Tomorrow is the first day of March on Tuesday, and it's the first uh, autumn season, Australian autumn season. So, um, so I don't need to go down to these um, corrupt community pleasing areas. The reason why I say corrupt because I've never heard anything stupid, and these malicious um, evil children from these um, bad parenting or um, bad people in the forces like white supremacists coming over here laughing and making fun of me uh, these kids they're getting themselves ready to be criminals on the future ah oh, am amazing Well, this is the um, forecast now here at the present moment on the last day of the beautiful Australian summer season. Um, uh, taking this, some um, we've had rains um, for the past few days, and so it's just fine up. Um, on this last day, tomorrow is Tuesday, the 1st of um, March 2022. Um, this is from our um, beautiful city of Brisbane. As you can see, it's fine here, but we're going to expect more rains this afternoon. That's what they forecast on the internet. And it's going to continue for a few days, and we're expected to have major floods. So that's what they forecast on the internet. But at the moment, it's fine. But it's going to be, we're going to expect more rain tonight, and it's going to continue for a few days. And the rivers have peaked and so um, just like in the Bible when the rivers peak up and then um, yeah, God is not happy uh, someone has done something wrong and the rainbow is a sign of um, of them not going to curse the whole world to flood the whole world again so it's going to be a temporary flooding someone has did something wrong and God is not happy and it's going to clear teach the world a bit of a lesson again Well, it's a beautiful fine day today. Um, this is Monday, and the uh, 28th of February 2022, um, from Chris Mead. 
in the state of Queensland, Australia. So it's beautifully fine so far, as you can see. Yeah, it's beautiful, it's fine at the moment. We're going to expect more rain on the first day autumn tomorrow, which is a Tuesday, the 1st of March. And um, I remember when I did, um, um, when I first um, did training for yellow cabs, in the year 2011, I've um, never heard anything sordid and stupid in my life. Um, people were saying stupid things like, the full little word with um, writing implements. And I pray to God and they say, her, her, her. And like, um, I've never seen any stupid things like that in my life. It's just really strange. Really ridiculous. You know what they say, you know? Get her, get her. Fucking fuck, pink sucker piece. Like that crop police officers pretending to be yellow cabs, sitting you up for crimes like they're really bad racist people. Um, like white supremacists sitting you up. And then I pray to God, God, I want you to curse these people. I want you to do something bad to these people. And um, and I don't know because God is the only person that does revenge. And so um, and so I don't know. It was just sheer coincidence that flooded. And I was like last week too. I went to this info information session at the PA hospital for a um, a job. It was a cleaning technician job. And um, I heard stupid talk the same thing. But convoluted um, from all the um, all these team of people like the team of white supremacists set up corruption identify them with their alliances you know their their rented group of um, corrupt community of policing and they were doing the same thing too through their um, fuck and fuck and psychopaths or whatever into the um, their convoluted corrupt like the Bible said corrupt world so I started praying Father God do it again they're doing it again curse them in your mind you know for the sun we're expecting floods 2022 you know, just 2011 they did the same thing now they're doing it again but they're expecting major floods so it's fine they did predict it um, a few days ago that it's going to be fine tomorrow on the first day of March the first day of autumn season Australian autumn season tomorrow but it's fine instead the day before um, the last day of the Australian summer season. So I don't know, I don't know, they call themselves Christians, they call themselves pastors, but they have all these charities. But I don't know what kind of anointed people that God has chosen these people. You know, because that's not God. You know God's words, God's people from the way they say, what they say, you know, what they talk about. You know that God is in them. But when they say that they have to identify these people and their, their sins and guilt and that, that they haven't been fully forgiven, yeah, that God is not speaking to them, that's Satan. Because I know my 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 I know that I haven't done anything wrong, but they're creating um a money to destroy people to to give them work. And so they have children running here yesterday, um barefooted when it was raining, and looking at me and going, <laughs> fucking fucking suck and there's a white kid barefooted with a brown kid. And I'm like these people, you know, they, they, they start their marks as kids to become criminals and then they build that hate and all of a sudden they kill innocent people because they've been programmed by these bad people in the community doing the work of Satan, not of God. Yeah, that's why some Samoans said to us, So just this brief shot of this beautiful fine weather because the weather forecast on the internet has said that um, on this, this is the last day of the Australian summer season, beautiful weather, awesome. But tomorrow is beginning of the autumn season, they said it will be fine but now they said on the weather forecast on the internet it's going to rain and we're going to expect major floods. So um, I have been... Um, with the um, I have things so now this they just throw this instead of a of that bottle rolling down they've got this 
rolling over here so we're just gonna pick up this ha hazard because that's a duty of care according to the law in Brisbane Queensland Australia you gotta have, clear up your mess in front of your property that is the law of Australia duty of care you have to clear any hazards or that or anyone that need assistance you have to act appropriately and help your community that's what they call the duty of care it's like when I did my interview with um when I first did a few legal jobs and one of the my, one of my bosses said I'm a very modest person I don't say that I'm a good person or such and such they just reveal through your work isn't it from these people who say nasty things about me for doing nothing wrong to them ready to go to this medical centre to do this um, this as part of the PA hospital and I'm um, pretty reluctant um, to know those Asians that punched my mum's head 2002 oh, awful people because they said they hated me I did nothing wrong to any of them how evil these people are so um, I applied for a job and I filled anything but um, they went in there, they didn't give much information like the corrupt community of policing there at the PA hospital last Wednesday. So um, yeah, I've got to do this paperwork. And then the SMS saying to me that, um, um, that, um, that the Help Employment Agency um, is unable to, um, they're not open, the office is not open today, it's just phone, uh, because it's flooding. And they're very evil, that agency, you do nothing wrong. I had to do a course a few years ago and they um they gave me demerit points they're very evil people um and they try to set me up like they try to provoke and they had the ambulance and that saying psychopath making phone calls this consultant employment consultant and i did nothing wrong and i quietly prayed to god and they set me up and then they give me a demerit point for doing nothing wrong they're so evil and they, they got me to do a course and um and they gave me wrong information, sent me wrong information. Like it was at, um, they said it was Woodridge, and I went to Woodridge, and they said, no, it was at Browns Plains. And they all looked angry when I got there at Browns Plains for the course that I had arrived. And they're like, they, they were, they, they're very evil. The, the community here is paid by a corrupt cop, or bad cop, or someone evil that's so powerful that's paying them um, to pick on innocent people for doing nothing wrong to anyone. That That is so awful so the bible is true it's such a corrupt world and so they penalized me not long ago just because i complained that i have done all my job search and they can sit in front of them this big white lady and she just and and she just um she just failed me and, and took me another demerit point that's so awful and now they've got this cleaning job for me to go to i remember i applied for a law job 1990 and um the accountant that gave me a job um, said, oh, she's your very modest, because I don't really tell about my credentials, but these people, they're so awful, they're so nasty, the employment agency here in Browns Plains, awful people. So I'm here at this medical centre to do this um, paperwork. Yeah, the community policing is incredible. But God knows the through Holy Spirit, that's what the Bible says. And I'm a Christian and I believe so too. You can't set people up for things they have never done. There's no such thing like that for any jobs. So the um the doctor said here they can't get the record of my immunization from New Zealand as a kid at um Dr. Ian and he can't get through the internet. So I have to do a blood check. And the um the blood um uh, 
office here next to adjacent to the um Crestry I'm Med oh, sorry, Crestry Medical Centre, they're closed and they said they're tracking the flood so they're not here. That's over that side there. So um, I have to go to Waratah so for this job. And so so that's what I'm I'm about to do now. And so I'm leaving here to go to Waratah to, to get that done. So um, this is pathology here at Chris Mead, um, not far from the um, from the other from the Chris Mead Medical Centre. This is just behind the um, uh, not far from the um, St Francis. Uh, sorry, um, this is further away from close to where. Our, um, this is at the Warata. This is the Warata. So I done my blood test here and it was pretty full and so that's done and now and I just bought a few things on that camera so I'm just here now in this beautiful place of Chris Mead uh, and it's a beautiful fine day so I finished my Roof shopping. I um, just picked up something that I felt like easing for a change, like an upper B supo and all that. Done my blood tests, and the lady said, Oh, have you had anything to eat? And I said, No, I, was, I didn't have anything to, to eat. I was a bit worried. Oh, I can't believe that. Um, I still can't get over um, what that Asian nurse did to my mum in the PA hospital when she was alive back in 2002. You know, punched my mum's head, and I did nothing wrong to anyone, so I was a bit afraid to come and get my medical. Um, um, see all these medical people thinking, oh, scared they might um, kill me for doing nothing wrong to anyone. But anyway, she was quiet and she just did the blood test. She said, she said, oh, no worries. Um, yeah, because I need it for my job. So if I can get this job, that's it. So I've done my blood test. So um, here, so Wednesday. Yeah, so I'm here now. I'm off my way home. I can't wait to get home and have something to eat. And all the worries done. God is good. God is in control. You know, what everything's impossible with man, everything is possible with God, and God knows the future. So I'm a Christian, I believe in God. Um, see good in everyone, and that's what God said. And to do good, if people who do evil to you, the Bible said to do good to them. But um, everything is good here, yes? nothing to worry about. Yeah, <coughs> there's, um, yeah, so there's just food for thought. Just have to be um, mindful of um, that it's not only Christians in this world, there's a lot of different races, and God loves each and every one of all the human race because he created them in his image and he hopes to save um, each and every one of, of them uh, every one of us so we can make it to heaven so anyways people will say that um, Christians are mad and crazy they don't know what they're talking about but I believe there is a God and even though um, a lot of people academics think oh, that's just the funny fun loopy people but I believe I've been brought up and ever since I follow the Christian faith it has been really good there, there are good and bad in everyone, and that's it. I'm off my way. I'm going home now. And, um, yeah, I'm glad I finished my blood test now to do one more paperwork for the lady to fill in because they can't trace the immunization. Because I had measles when I was a kid and chicken pox and all that when I was a kid, and, and going to travel to Samoa and all that and holidays. So we had all those done. Um, all those immunization. Apparently, they're the shortcut here. You just do a blood test, but to me, it's just like. It's all bull crap. Is the crop community policing? Someone really hates us. Is what the Bible says. Is a crop world, and they, you know, when you're single and you don't have any family, um, some of them think you're not working and you're just doing a thing so you can get a job. You know, like the neo-Nazi, you're better off dead and alive, and that's the awful mentality why they don't like these Nazis, neo-Nazis people around the world. Because of the history, I don't know what I hear from my small understanding of the education academia. Um, from my 
um, finding out of what I read from my basic understanding from little reading that I know that's made available from me as a kid because I was, you know, at, at school, um, you know, I had a um, hard time trying to get access to a lot of library stuff that wasn't um, available to me. But on the internet, there's some of the information that's available to me and what I've read. So the neo-Nazis, uh, it's what I'm off to my basic understanding um, of all the movies that I watched that uh, they really hate it because they um, um, gas the, the what's, what's it, the Jews in the, in the showers. So, yeah, and so there's these rumours here in and um in 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 australia that um um horror things that are going through the the shower shower heads and that you have to change your shower head is like all these awful insects that are creeping inside your shower things so anyway yeah gas and shower and insects and everything bad under the sun nothing new under the sun god is there god knows everything god created everything and we have nothing to fear about and that's it that's my that's my short um talk for now and i'm off my way home it's just uh pretty strange i was driving out of um of uh the shopping center there at warrata number 55 at warrata street um after i did my blood test and I was driving out, and I saw uh, because um, where I parked, there was a lady that came and parked, and I looked at her and I thought, oh, that's a bit strange. There's heaps of parking, but just came to choose to pick, um, park next to me, and um, she was an old lady, white lady. So I'm going just trying to explain a, a, a situation, and then I, I looked at her and I. And I and I said to her, oh, sorry, I thought it was. Um, I was. A, I, I said to her, I was a bit worried. I thought it might be these racist whites. And um, she just remained quiet. The the white late old lady with um, a a person behind the 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 car, four wheel drive, and this other person was on the passenger seat. And so I just went and did my little bit of shopping. Um, I bought corned beef, like I had said, and then I drove out. And then I was reaching, driving out of that shopping centre at 55 Warrata Street. I was driving out onto the roundabout, and I was already already on the roundabout. And then this car, a down brown car, and a white lady, was yelling for no reason on that roundabout, and uh, and pointed to me, like I was already on the roundabout before she reached the roundabout. To go on to the roundabout, I'm, uh, but I've already been on. The, I'm already on the roundabout. So uh, and yet she yelled and screamed for no reason. I didn't know why, but then she drove here to where we live, and she came through. Um, I I I came back here thinking, oh, there's something wrong. There might be the KKK. So I drove, um, and I like she comes here where I live here at um, Chris Mead. And like at Amelia Street, or Spy Street, and then she went to Poland Street, and she disappeared there. Like oh, I don't know, it's like she's in, I don't know, it's just so strange. But I live here at um at uh, Wallace Street, just off All Spy Street, and she's a white lady with red hair. And I'm thinking, I don't do anything wrong, but um something strange again happening um, with the community. You do nothing wrong. I was in the right or uh, um um. Uh, obeying the traffic lights, or I mean traffic laws, and I don't know what the what that lady was yelling and screaming for no reason doesn't make sense here in Chris Mead. After I did my blood test, after I said, "Oh, I don't trust these medicals. There's too much police corruption. You don't really need um, all these medical um, police um, checks and um, security checks and um, medical te um, checks just to, for a job interview, just for." For a job it doesn't make sense it's like they're trying to cover their tracks uh, create a scenario to kill innocent people like the neo-nazis um, 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 creating anything just to provoke to cover their tracks okay today's reading is from the book of uh, st john uh, chapter 14 um, the promise for today is um, from that particular book is verse 2 and uh, this is the um, King James Version and it says um, in my father's house are many mansions if 
it were not so, I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you. Okay? And this is the reading, Christ is the way. There are 31 uh, verses of this chapter. And it says, um, Let not your heart be troubled. He believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If or not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there he may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know, Thomas says unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus says unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. If he had known me, he should have known my Father also, and from henceforth he know me, he know him, and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show me, show us the Father, and it is suffice us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that have seen me have, have seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father, and whatsoever he shall ask in my name, that will I do, and that the Father may be glorified in the Son, if he shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If he love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even for even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but he know him. For he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you, and I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but he see me, because I live, he shall live also. At that day he shall know that I am in my Father, and he in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Judah said unto him, Not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the, not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him. And we will come unto unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which he hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things I have these things I these things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. You shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatever I have said unto you, peace I leave with you, and my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard how I said unto you, 
I go away and come again unto you. If he loved me, he would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it has come to pass, he might believe. Henceforth, I will not talk about with, talk much with you, for the Prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Arise, let us go hence. And so it's 31 verses of that particular reading, and it's quite, quite um, old English, which is the uh, King James Version, um, at time I'm in the palace, isn't it? The royals, where they become rulers, but it's ruled inside the castle. And now we have this um, modern version, which is all the all the aristocrats come out to the all their nobles come out and you know, be with all other different races of every every denomination and every kind of um, walk of life and perfecting their country and their making climate of that country. We have this new international version Bible and then all the different translations to 700 or so different languages. Amazing. And the Bible says and, and the Bible says that until we reach the whole nation and then God will return. And it's beautiful fine outside there on this beautiful day, the last day of the Australian summer season. It is February the 28th, uh, 2022, and it's a Monday morning. And tomorrow is Tuesday, the 1st of March, 2022, would be the Australian autumn season. Anyway, the prayer, dear Lord, I'm grateful for your life-giving promises. Le <laughs> or to tell you for your soul, but such ma in a yay or so. Ille mea o te yaya, or to a rolling mea o te ala yay, or we roll for the alum, or find my so my yatia, lily ye. I told the lay rolling mea o te malua to yay, my sort of my five up with the only law or the ala. The first last year, so yatia, while nearly ala malay morning, maleola, Ilia was to love a set us with ma. Ya <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. 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 Aile olea ia o tūtua tūn mai a te aung Ona o ia o ia ngā luenga E mōne, e mōne o te whai atu i ate o tūn E le tūn tūn mai a te aung e whai lava e ia ia ngā luenga O te whai, e whai whoi e ia mea e sili i ia mea A wā o te aung i lokta mā O le mea, o mea umu poi tō te ole atu ai Hai i lokwe ngoa o te whai a lava I na ia vi iele te mā Ono ole atu liu, a whai tūte ole atu i te mea i lo ingoa o te whai a lava. A whai tūte alo whā mai a te aung i o tō tō si mai i okpolo aina. O te whai atu tōi i le te maa on whai mai e i lea. I a tō tō le o tāsi fresh o swani, i me ia tu mau pia o ia i a tō tō e whāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwhāwh
to a sow, ya to a sow, and our auto a lot of my ya tell, or auto or the only, you look for ya to, or say, I do a two, you let a ma, a wa a city, not to my ya tell, well, for ya to many, for ya to a two, I are all little town, you know, your total town, my fair art or no. O to lay to a total last year to a toe in the Ukwe Tenu, a wa only a soul that's free only in a long run. I lay more a year similar yet yet. Pay time, only a year lower in a long run. O to a lot for it to mark a pay on a polo wae, my poe, only to my yet yet. If I appear lava on a fire to two years longer in a tattoo, a say. Yeah, my just a little lady here. Oh, she has to love her more. More than all of five four eight. No, the four four long and I eight five more. My to a man. Yeah, the four long. The amount of four long. The farm one was sitting on the other side. We were more four long. The four my side far also so four. And this is on a total of nine years of money. Yeah, well, the family and the family are two. Ano lele ang pa yema le oras le tuwa lima pa ina oras si tasa nila no lang awal oras le tuwa tutum ay le tato le pulinga o sa tani ay tay tay na tato pule tuwa ya okay fili fili labo sa muli muli ya le tuwa pa olo nila lang yung mga le uma ay matamay do tato matay pa olo yesu Kristo pa may na fiyong pa yele tuwa le kaya sa tani ile i i i sa ngat sa lele Letak tahu le tua, atau tangan sele, letak tahu le tua. Ia cai sah tani mahalus sah tani mukfak le anga. Ya, oleh tahu le lau ia ini. Ia krismi, lau fia ini mukfak awal. Ia sewaktu ide, ide sewaktu le solu. Ia tu timu. Ya, kalau lau fia ini sewa oleh first day of le le tahu fau ale. Ale na po ila a masa ili aswa tayo ila sumomua o masi luwa fi luwa luwa ma ili anu ula le le o australia ili piso nu o chris me ili seti o kuintalangi This is the main meal It's a corn beef with a sausage and eggs and baked beans and veggies on rice and um, and bread, just feel like something different, it's like more like an Irish stew type of thing. But it's nice for this cold weather. Um, it's fine. Um, with the um, weather forecast on the internet said it's fine today and tomorrow, the first day of autumn, um, tomorrow, uh, first of March 2022. So that's really cool. So um, 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 people here, rumors have it. I don't know from the. The locals, um, from what my brother heard, uh, families in the local, the book got um, um, injected a thousand dollars for um, living close to the hazard river banks area that busted from there. Yes, it's only for those people, but um, we're pretty um, we're pretty safe because we're, uh, where we live is a kind of hill, uh, kind of um, on like um, here yeah, on a, a gradient that's pretty um, yeah. Uh, high elevated gradient, um, yeah. And so, so we're pretty safe here. So it, it's quite good though. So um, um, I just had my um, uh, blood test because they can't. Uh, the medical doctors uh, that I have here, um, they they said the easiest way to get where they have all my immunisation because I I've, I've had all mine done in New Zealand when I was a kid. But I came to Australia, you know, um, uh, in, uh, as a teenager, and I came to Australia in the 1980s. So I left out here college, and um, yeah, so small. And here in Australia, you've got more opportunities, a lot of um, um, good stuff at a reasonable good price, and that's really good. That was like an eye opener when coming to Australia. All these, um, wow, all the stuff that's you know so expensive back in New Zealand, and here I was like, yeah, that was really awesome. That was really good coming to Australia. And um, but I remember when my 
My cousins came over for a 21st from the islands. They, they, they expected us to live in a mansion. Uh, those um, rich Samoans here. Uh, but no, no, we just lived in a small house and been me. So they expected a mansion and all that. But like my cousin, he won Fido when she came from Samoa for the 21st. And I don't know, I was rushing and I had my car and it just smashed. My car just appeared from nowhere and smashed into my car. And oh, it's really sad. So my mum's friend um, got a pickup. Oh, poor girl, felt sorry for her. But my car, like we would have been all over Brisbane if uh, I don't know. I just lost my job. My mum all of a sudden just lost her job. It was like I don't know what happened when my cousin Yvonne Vito came from Samoa. That was so sad, man. Now we all of a sudden lost all our jobs when she arrived, and all that car crash. It was just. It was just so sad, yeah, but anyway, we made the most of it when she came, when Uncle Philip came up, that was cool, that was cool, but like, she was going, was, um, we don't really care where we live and what we have in our house, just as long as we go out and have a good time and have good friends and family around and have a good feed, and that's like, that's everything in our house, like, we not have had hardly any furniture, but it doesn't matter, at least we have God in our, in our hearts, um, get ready to go to heaven. You know, when, when you die, you don't take with you anything. You know, you just, your body just goes into the permanent, if, if God doesn't return before you die, you know, type of thing. But anyway, I'm going to have my, my, my dinner. And, um, yeah, and that's what it is at this time. And this, yeah, yeah, and this uh, moment in time. It's just like a few coincidences, man. When, yeah, yeah, sheer coincidence when these Samoans turn up and then, um, things happen and but, you know, but God knows there's a reason for everything and there's a good reason for everything and only God knows and let us will be done. Well my brother's um, rushing me to go and get the COVID um, things but um, I really don't like these what the community you know all the stupid talk that they talk about they have lost my respect and even the people in the journalists they're not, they're not normal. The, the Bible says to stay away from these evil people. And um, that's what I'm saying. I, I always tell these people who use my brother's name, Tim Tafunga, my brother never abuses me, never calls me psychopath. And I'm tired of this corrupt community of policing. Using my brother's name, my brother never ever threatens or scares me to do something against my will. Never. But I'm sick and tired of this corrupt community of policing being threatened by these um, so-called whoever they are and the idiots in the community, you know, get a life. Say, don't say stupid things on the internet and, you know, on, on the TV as journalists. Jeez, grow a brain, man. Gosh, your people in the community, you know, there's, there's more to life than saying the same thing over and over again, all the vulgar things like little kids. And they have all these kids running around teasing innocent people around here for things they've never done when you guys are the criminals, doing things secretly behind people's back. Get a life! Better get your, um, better be quick here to get your rat's um, box. So at the chemist you get this, these um, free thing, free rapid things for free from that chemist there for this month. You get that for free. What else you wait for tomorrow and then you get another one for free tomorrow. But if you quickly come in today you can get one for free for February and you can get another one free tomorrow for March. That's why all these academics are rushing. I was getting a bit upset with them because I didn't understand because these academics are too fast. And when you get too fast, you just get, you get annoyed because you don't understand what the hell are they talking about. But now I understand. Well, it's the last day of um, the summer season today. 
just went out of February and I didn't know what these academics are rushing to get this but the reason why you get one free for February and then you get another one free tomorrow for March for the COVID-19 test so I've got my test thing today and it is hot it is hot like it's it's um it's like it's it's gray overcast clouds it's going to be fine today and the first day of autumn on the autumn season tomorrow it's, it's um oh it's it's fine the last day of the summer season the Australian summer season here in Crestmead and it's also fine again tomorrow on the first day of autumn which is a Tuesday 1st of March tomorrow and today is 28th of March and also we have been told that uh, because of the major floods um, we don't we we're, we're told that we don't have to look for work a part of the mutual obligations and all that stuff so we don't have to attend to those appointments until um, until the 7th of March or something like that but um, we're not really grossly affected by the floods because we're kind of on an upper level playing field but um, all around us which is low level but I've seen the yeah that it's flooded it's, and it's never been like this before but we're expecting um, more rain from uh, it's Wednesday onwards so it's, um, it's fine today and tomorrow and it's beautiful nice but it's too hot at the moment so that rain would be a welcoming breeze.